Hey guys, what's going on, man? You know, I was uh, watching Tommy Shoe's video about the Mustang that guy wants him to uh, fix up for him for his son or resell or whatever it may be. But, you know, when I flip cars, because I, I buy and sell cars all the time, you know, you guys probably don't see half of what I buy and sell, but, you know, back in the 80s and stuff like that you know I had a guy that just did the cars I flipped and if it was one of my personal cars then we we talked about it but you know we had a certain rate we went by for the cars that I flipped because I guaranteed him my cars I guaranteed that I'd give him you know two three cars a month or more you know um, so it wasn't I didn't take my car here and there I took him all my cars you know um, but, you know, that's a deal you got to make. You just can't expect somebody to take it, especially nowadays, man, because the prices of paint and supplies nowadays is just, it's outrageous. So, I mean, to build a car nowadays costs you 10 times more than what it would have cost you back in the 80s and 90s. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and in the 70s, you know, <laughs> 20 times more than in the 70s. But, I mean, the thing is, is that if, if you're going to buy and sell cars, and you want somebody to repair those cars? Well, then you make it. You got to make a deal with these people. You know, you got to make some kind of, you know, uh, guarantee that hey, I'm not just going to bring you this one car. It's going to be a one deal thing. I'm going to bring you all my cars. You know, and if I get a car that I'm keeping for myself, well, then I want that car done with the best quality and the best work. So I'm going to pay you more for that. You know, so yeah. You know, Tommy Shoe's right, man. This guy comes in and brings this car that needs, you know, uh, $5,000 worth of work, and he wants to pay $1,500. Look, man, I'm going to tell you something. It's hard to get a $1,500 paint job nowadays, and that's without doing any body work. So, you know what? If you're going to flip cars, find somebody and tell them, hey, look, I guarantee you at least three cars a month or more. You know, or however it is. If you think you can only do one car a month, tell them, say, look, I'm going to do at least one car a month. You're going to get my business. How can we work this out so I can get this cheap enough where you can make money and I can make money? Because that's what you do and this is what I do. It's not that freaking hard, man. Just talk to people. Because you can buy cheaper supplies. You can buy cheaper paint. It's not going to last. You're not going to get the best job out of it. But you're flipping that car. As long as the purchaser is happy with that car, home run. If he's not happy with it, he's not going to buy it. Simple as that. It's not that you're screwing anybody, you know. You're just getting it and doing what you're going to do. And that's all there is to it. So, yeah, if you're going to flip cars, if you can't do the work yourself, or you don't have the place, the facilities to do it, then talk to somebody. Because I'm sure they'll give you a deal. But give them some kind of guarantee that, hey, I'm going to give you so many cars, or I'm going to give you all my cars. If it's one a month, that's 12 a year. Hey, if he can make a few dollars and you can make a few dollars, win-win situation, you know. In mechanic work, you know, I mean, it's the same thing. you got to find somebody that can do the mechanic work that can do it reasonable, you know. And you really don't want to slack on mechanic work, you know what I'm saying, because now you're endangering people's lives, you know. So, guys, that's just my thought for the day. I've seen this video. And I have to agree with the guy 100%. All right, man, you guys have a good day.